my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So today I want to show you how you can change an image easily using the contour tool. So I've got a image here from Digital Gems. Digital Gems is a fantastic fantastic resource for SVGs. Uh, Gemma has a Etsy store and she also is on design bundles as well and I love a lot of her paper cuts, they are beautiful but sometimes, and I find this with a lot of images, if I want to have them small, if I've got lots of kind of cut out bits like this, depending on how small I want it, depending on what I'm cutting it in and depending how I want it to look, I may want to remove some of these. And of course I can get a shape. So for example, if we got a circle and let's say I wanted to remove all the cuts from the ears and I place a circle over, I can of course weld that in place, but it's gonna take me an awful long time to change this image using the contour tool makes it quick and easy. So the first thing I want to do is take all these cuts out of the ears. I want them to be a solid cut. So if we go and select the image, and you can see it's all one complete image as it should be when using the contour tool. And we select contour. I want to zoom in first of all, and I'm just going to select the pieces on the ear that I don't want. And of course, if I wanted to change this, so say I didn't want flowers and hearts, I wanted something else, I could do this and then slice my own images into the ear area. So quick and easily, I've completely changed the way that ear looks and I'm going to do this one as well. So you can see those ears are now completely solid. But what if I wanted to remove some of the areas in here? So let's say for example, this heart, I wanted it just to be a solid cut. I can just select the pieces that I don't want. And equally, if I decide I want them back, I can reselect them. So if I think that my image is too fussy, for example, and I don't want all these little cuts in there, I can simply remove them. And I can simplify an image and I can change the way an image looks. But what if I don't want the outline, I want the inner of my rabbit? So again, if we go to contour, this time if I actually just select on the outer area of the image, it's going to completely change the way it looks. So I could have then something like that if I was doing it in vinyl or something. Contour tool makes it so easy to manipulate and change an image. So this time I want to change a project. So I'm in Design Space and I found this Infusible Ink project and I really like it and I may want it so that I'm putting my own text in the splodge, or maybe I actually just want the text. And I can do both of those using my contour tool. So if we select the project and go to customize, we're just going to duplicate it. And we're also going to duplicate it again. So we've got an original copy. And we're going to look at the first one, we're gonna take away the text nice and quickly and then we're going to put our own text in and then the second one we are going to just have the text so for this one we want to go to contour and we're very simply just going to hide all contours and it will take away all the text now you may find it takes away some of these extra bits as well that's fine we can just add those back in and you can see them being added on my canvas. Now I may want to have these cut out bits in there or out. I'm going to add them back in, but of course it's completely up to you. And we can then close that. And of course we could then go to text. We could add a text in. So I've got Alexis Mattox here, which is one of my absolute favorite, favorite fonts in design space. I'm just going to move my letter spacing closer together so that they are beautifully flowing as they should be. Sometimes you'll find it works, sometimes you'll find it doesn't. So we're just going to advance and ungroup to letters. 
And I actually like to use my arrow key when moving the letters because it will keep them all in line with each other. If I manually move them using my mouse, sometimes I can struggle. There is a way of doing it where you can hold, I think it's control and something, but it doesn't always work for me. So I just move it with my arrow. Once I'm happy, I can select my text and I can weld it together. If you are working with cursive text and your letters are going to be overlapping, you always, always want to weld them. If I bring my splodge back over, I can then size this up, highlight and slice. I can then remove my text and I've completely changed that splodge. I've taken out the original text and I've added my own text. But what if I actually just want the text? So I don't want the splodge, I just want the text. Again, using the contour tool makes this nice and easy. If we go to contour, we select our actual splodge. I don't know what else to call it. To me, it's a splodge. And I'm just gonna remove all these little bits. And again, you can absolutely zoom in and out if you need to. Close that down. And again, I've got just the text then. So we've gone from having one image, we can then completely change it. We can use just the text or we could add our own text in. I absolutely love the contour tool. I'm gonna to be doing quite a few tutorials on contouring and how you can make it work for you and how it's going to completely change the way in which you use Design Space. For me, it's the most underrated tool and it's actually one of the best tools in Design Space. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please do subscribe, hit that notification bell and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.